Hi everybody, welcome to Deb's Way. I'm Deb, and you're here today. It's Saturday, Saturday afternoon actually, and I'm in my storage pantry and my sewing nook area, a quiet room of the house right now. William is out watching TV and he's in charge of Bella, keeping her active and keeping her quiet for me while I film this video, which I agreed to do. This, this is a little bit of a different video for me um, than my normal routine. Every now and then I am contacted to do a review of a product and I was contacted by Saker Incorporated again to do a product review on their, let me show you because I got it in the mail the other day, the Saker 3-in-1 vacuum cleaner, okay? And as soon as, within days after I said that I would do a review for them, I had the product. It um, is available on their website. It is, I don't have a, a discount code for my followers, my viewers at this time, because I was advised that the product is on sale. So check it out on the website and I will put that link down below in the description box of this video, okay? So go there and, and watch the video because I tell you, I am impressed with Saker and the tools that they are coming out with. I've been contacted from them before for other things, which I will link videos to show you what I have reviewed in the past. I've been very impressed with those tools. I'm very impressed with this tool. Let me show you a little bit more about this before I actually demonstrate the use. In case you're wondering though, I don't do a review on every uh, for every company that contacts me to do a review for them. Some of them are a little bit shady. Well, they seem shady to me. And so I, I kind of steer clear of them. And there are others that it just, I'm just not interested. If I'm not interested in the product, if I, if I know that I wouldn't use the product typically, I'm not going to do a review. How can I be honest on that when I don't use it or have any intent to use it? But this little vacuum cleaner, I'm going to be using this little bugger. You better believe it. This is the booklet of information, lots of detailed information here, and I love information booklets like this. It will show you, let's see if I can get this in here. It will show you the different uses of this little vacuum cleaner, which um, it depends on what tool attachment you use, and you get quite an assortment of tool attachments. I'll be showing you that. But here's a directional on how to put it all together how to use it for its different functions, how to maintain it, how to clean it. Let me show you what comes in this little box. First of all, this is your handy dandy vacuum cleaner. It, it fits in my hand easily. It's very lightweight. It doesn't run on batteries. Well, it's got a battery internally, but you charge it in with a, to a USB port you know, like just about everything else these days, you charge it up for use. Okay. This is what they call the dust shield. Easily comes apart. Okay. This is the little HEPA filter and dust collector. I'm sure I may not be using the correct terminology, but that's my terminology for it. But this just fits right into the dust shield snaps in place. The dust shield just very easily fits onto the end of this and you're almost ready to go depending on what you want to vacuum. Okay. Now, as far as attachments go, I have, let me show you, a floor brush. A long blowing pipe attachment little round brush you put on the long blowing pipe and it makes a pipe blowing round brush I'll show you what you use that for in a minute and
short blowing nozzle. A long flat section, another little brush head, and they even send you an extra HEPA filter. Okay, which let me tell you, these little HEPA filters, you can clean them off. You can also use a vacuum and clean them off after you vacuum, but you can easily rinse them to clean them as well. They last quite a while. They are replaceable. That's everything. I don't know. One more thing. One more thing. A bag. A very nice bag to put everything in. Okay. Comes in the box. So you get all of this in this box. That's quite a bit. Quite a lot of different pieces here. And I'm going to show you how to use them all. Thanks to this handy dandy little <laughs> reference manual. Which I needed to help me learn how to work this. Very easy to learn though. Very easy to work. Let me show you some of the ways that I will put this thing to use. First of all, I'm going to show you how to use it in the vacuum cleaner mode. Yeah, just like this with the dust shield on. Um, turn it on by, here's the on switch on the handle. You press down for three seconds and it just starts up. Press it one more time and it speeds it up. Press it again, it turns it off. That's just the straight vacuum cleaner mode with um, the dust, dust shield. Okay. Okay, for the next one, I have this long flat attachment. You just attach through this nozzle piece here, like that. This will get into crevices, uh, into drawers that you want to clean out. And same thing, you start it button, your start button is there, press for three seconds, and it just starts right up. It, it's a powerful little thing, I tell you. Okay, next attachment. Actually, I shouldn't have removed that. <laughs> Let's put it back in. You just slide it back into the dust shield, and I'm going to attach a little brush. A little brush head. That fits very easily onto the long flat nozzle. So now I've got a little brush head. I can use this to, well, go over keyboards of any kind. Matter of fact, I did use it on my laptop keyboard the other night and it really did a good job. And also on, I have a lap desk that I put my little um, laptop on and I was cleaning not only the keyboard but the top of the desk itself. Get going. And just brush it as you go. You could even do, um, I would think, uh, drape, just small jobs, you know, like a drape or something that you wanted to touch up on or whatever. Just a small job that you needed a little brush for. Really cool little tools here. I like them all. Okay. And one more thing is for the floor. Now, no, this doesn't have any long handled or long nozzle to help you, you know, just stand upright and, and do the floor. This is for small um, pickups. Make a mess on the floor, here's your floor attachment. You just pop it onto the dust shield and get it going. Okay, now, now let's talk about the air blower mode, which is kind of like, well, it is a blower. You can use this little tool, not only as a vacuum cleaner, but if you need to blow some small, like pool toys or um, blow up beds or things like that, you can use this and it will do a good job too. Let me show you how the attachments work. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna take off the dust shield Okay, and turn it around to use this end to put the 
nozzles on, or to put the uh, attachments on. This is the long nozzle. You just fit it into the piece, make sure it fits in there securely, and you can go ahead and blow up, like I said, a beach toy, a beach ball, um, an air bed, something like that. Or, no, it's not a hair dryer, but you know what? It pulls me off. <laughs> But that's not one of the features for it either. But that's how you use it that way. Oh, I should put that back on there. Okay. Because you can also put this little brush head on the end of the long tube and use it to brush off your keyboard. That sort of thing. Yeah. Now one other attachment, let me get this off, is this little nozzle. Same thing, it fits into this area here. Just make sure it gets in there securely. No air will escape from that hole. And hold the starter down. This is for, same thing, beach toys or beach balls or anything with a smaller nozzle in it that you need to put this down in to blow it up. But you can blow up things with this. You know, what um, a basketball maybe, if it would fit in there. Definitely a, a, a beach ball, um, a float for the pool, that type of thing. So this little thing comes in handy for several different reasons. I would say, let me put it back together here. This is a very useful tool. I'm going to show you some of the ways that I have used it to test it around my house. And it has worked wonders, okay? I really do like this. Um, yeah, thank you, Saker, for contacting me, asking me to do a review on this. I think it's a great tool. You did a good job on this one. And I think anybody that gets this model would appreciate it as well, okay? Let me show you how I've used it around the house here now. Get down there and get okay. down. So this is William's chair. I'm gonna turn the vacuum on here because down in the crevices here, well, he gets a lot of stuff. So let's clean it. Oh, wow. Yeah, Bella's helping too. Hey. <laughs> and back in here, of course. Okay, and right in here, William gets a, yes, I know, Bella. William gets a lot of stuff there, so let's clean that up. <laughs> Bella, like you're not helping. They may like you, huh? Bella was helping, you know. Good job. Good job. Yep. Okay. Good job. Now we're going to do. Okay, that's enough, Bella. 
the um, crevice tool down here, I'm not able to get the vacuum down in this board here to really clean it good. And it's, it's always dusty, so we're gonna give it a go here. Bella's gonna help, I guess. <laughs> going to show the dirt that came out of there too though it doesn't look like it but it did vacuum up quite a bit okay okay this is the regular vacuum I'm attaching the floor um, attachment to it mm -hmm. just like that and the floor was recently vacuumed so it's not too bad but I see a few little things here that I'm going to try to pick up with this Bella you don't need to help me You may want to point out she's only nine weeks old. Yeah, nine and a half. <laughs> <laughs> and she's still don't, not very obedient right now, but she'll get there. Oh, yeah. She does mind somewhat. Okay, and the next little project for this Saker 3-in-1 vacuum is going to be a very tough job here because I made a mess in the car. <laughs> yes, I did. Let me show you here. This floor mat, well, okay. It has a bunch of uh, dried cheese from some tacos that I had the other day. So I'm gonna vacuum that up. Now, yes, you could take the mat out and use one of the air blower tools to blow it off, wash it off. I'm going to vacuum it though. Hang on just a minute. Okay. How am I going to... Okay. Let me show you this. This is, this is what I'm using. It's just the plain vacuum, plain nozzle, the, the dust shield. Okay. Let's turn it on. Oh, it's going to put it on high. It's high? Yeah. That's high. Oh, yeah. I didn't bring the crevice tool. It would easily pick up those, I'm sure. But do you see? Everything going around in there. That's a dried up cheese that it picked up from my floor. Okay. Let me see. Look at that. Yeah, getting filled up. Uh huh. But that did a super job. No, it didn't completely clean it out because I didn't get the crevice tool. Can I get my side? Does it, is that side dirty too? Move your arm. I don't want to hit the car door. Yes. Oh. William wants me to do his side. And like I said, I can't get down in the crevice on the mats, but I can get the dust up on top. I think I would in here.
Well, I hope you did get something out of the little demonstrations that I performed for you. Um, it is a nice little vacuum and you know, I wonder if you could really see here. We just came in from outside. It is so hot outside, let me tell you. But um, can you see the dirt that I got out of the car mats especially? The rest of the house is, I'll be, uh, as a matter of fact, I will be washing off the filter, getting that cleaned up. And as per the instructions, you let that dry thoroughly before you <laughs> reuse it. But I'm going to be cleaning the filter and get this dust shield all nice and clean again, ready to go for another cleaning. Yeah, it is a powerful little tool. It, it worked for me. Now on my side of the car, my floor mat was extra dirty. I don't know why, but I did not take the proper attachment out with me. If I would have taken, well, even like this, the nozzle, okay, or this flat nozzle with me, I could have cleaned out the grooves on the floor mat. I just used this and it picked up everything that I really intended to pick up, which was the um, cheese from my tacos from the other day. Yeah. So I'm very pleased with the job that it did on everything that I used it on. Yes, I will be using this again. It is a handy little tool. Thank you, Saker, for asking me to take care of reviewing this. I appreciate it. And I think anybody that orders this tool would be very happy with it and find many uses for it. 